Hey guys, welcome to the 11th C sharp, C -sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will be taking a look at threading. And what threading is, is it allows you to run a long process without your program freezing or crashing. And also with threading, you can have your program run one or more processes at once. So that is very useful if you want to look, do like progress bars or something like that. So what we're going to do is you're going to need a button and a multi-line text box on your form. And you double click on your button to get this code right here. And then what we're going to want to do is you're going to have to be using system.threading. And all you have to do is just type at the top using system.threading. Alright, like that. And then you're going to want to create a new void and call it anything you would like. I'm just going to call it do text. Alright, and what our um, void do text is going to do is it is going to fill this text box with a lot of text. So, you're going to want to have a for statement with just these two semicolons in here so it'll go on forever. Alright, and what our for statement is going to do is, like I said, it's going to fill our text box with text. So, we're going to do textbox1.text plus equals, and then whatever, whatever we want our message to be. However, this time, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have a slash r slash n. So what this will do is it will create a new line every time we, um, every time uh, it types our message. So when we do Adam, or well, you can have it say anything, I'm just going to have mine say Adam. But, so every time it does this, it will create a new line and then put Adam on it. So now for the threading part, you're going to want to type thread, uh, oops, thread, and you can name it anything you would like, I'm going to call it T, because that's just simple and easy, and you're going to want to set it equal to a new thread, and inside the parentheses, you're going to need the thread, or I mean the void you're going to want it to do, mine is going to be do text, so it's do text. And then we're going to want to start our thread. We can do t.start. Now, in order to avoid an error called um, like cross thread error, whatever, we're going to want to type cross or oops, check for cross for illegal cross thread calls and set that equal to false. Alright, and our prog and now our code should run smoothly. Now we'll click button one, this should just keep writing, Adam. And as you can see, it went insanely quickly. Now, if we want to cut down on the speed of this, and have it not run as, as quickly, we can um, do something called thread.sleep. And what that will do is, it will um, it will have the, have the system or your computer wait the set amount of time, and then it will do the code. So we are just going to do thread dot sleep, and then inside these parentheses right here, it says int integer milliseconds timeout. And what that means is, however many, all right. So like it's put in milliseconds. So if you put a thousand right here, your computer will wait one whole second before it does this code each time. But we're going to have it simple, something smaller, such as seventy-five milliseconds. All right. So every time it does this, it will wait. Um, 75 milliseconds before it writes Adam. Alright, so hopefully you can tell the difference right here. And yes, as you can see, it, it went a lot slower than before. Alright. So that, oops. So that is about it for threading. Um, if you have any questions, um, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer. So, see you guys.